We got goalie gear. I'm Kasim Rakaskisoa, goalie for Lexens IF in the Swedish Hockey League. And I'm doing a classic what's in the bag video from my 20, 21, 22 season with Lexens IF. Time to check what's inside. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Nobody wants to hear me ramble on about all this kind of stuff. One very important thing to notice is that our team is sponsored by Bauer. So all the players have Bauer gear. Goalies need to wear Bauer stuff. Uh, so that's kind of why everything's Bauer pretty much. But I was already in Bauer, so it didn't really matter to me. And I was, I was happy actually that I got to jump into a team in Europe that I can wear the same stuff in. But I want to start with my favorite piece of equipment, and that is my mask. I got the two-piece combo from Combated. Uh, I've been wearing this mask for a couple of years now, uh, just for the wider jaw, the bigger sizing. Uh, just makes it feel so much more comfortable. The paint is done by Deal Airbrush, and it looks sharp. I wanted something classic. Just simple stars from the jerseys. I think it looks good with uh, the old school theme of the mask anyways with the two-piece design. Left the chin blank like it's an old Cooper helmet. Uh, yeah, the uh, protection on the Commodore mask has been unbelievable. I got nothing but good things to say. Ron has been great working on my mask designs. Literally, I got to pretty much build this from the scratch. Just to kind of tell him what I want and he put it together and the mask has been great. And next up here, I'm gonna grab my pants. These are the Bauer Pro Pants. I don't think there's any uh, specific model that they have for the Pro Pants. I think I'm a XL in Europe with no added inches here. Uh, and one thing I do with my knee pads, I guess we're jumping in the knee pads here, but I kind of tie them up here. I'm not sure if you can see it well. Um, so they're literally just hanging off from the pants and you know they don't slide down they stay in the where i wanted them to stay i tuck my chest in so got these suspenders here next up i have the chest protector here and i'm in the hyperlite and it was either this model or the supreme and the supreme is more of a bulkier version i wanted more mobility and this is exactly what it was a um, great product. I think I'm moving into the mock next season. That is kind of the same idea as the Supreme, but it has the same mobility as this one. I'm very excited about that one, but this one was great coming in from a Brian's chesty. Um, I think it's bulked up a little bit. I think other than that, it's pretty stock. It's XL body, large arms, and then I add these little pieces here underneath the club hand if I'm making saves like this so I don't get small grinding the wrist but yeah uh, I was pleasantly surprised one thing I was very nervous about switching to Bauer was the chest protector but this thing was great and I even use these little wrist guard protection things underneath my wrist here next up I got my skates here they're the true Skates, I don't even know if they have a model. True skates have been great. I literally, I could just wear a pair right out of the box, straight into a game. They are just that comfortable. Um, yeah, haven't had any issues. They're great. I, I think I'll get them sharpened at like three eights. I got nothing but good things to say about the true skates. I'm not gonna throw these. For neck guard, I wear the CCM, um, like a shirt model, sleeveless. I kind of just cut the back out. Uh, so it doesn't get too hot. I haven't been able to get into uh, any other neck guard. And then, self-explanatory, Bauer. Now we can get into the good stuff. I got my glove right here. Uh, it is, I think, a pretty custom version. Uh, basically a 2X glove, game-ready palm. Uh, biggest differences I have is here in the pocket with uh, it being thinner than normal and then also the the skate lays in the pocket is like a soft version so uh, I think it just presents itself better when I open it up and the pocket is wide open I haven't had any issues with it game ready has been good enough for practice even in NHL and 
in the SHL. So it literally changed my game going into this bar glove. Blocker. Blocker is a blocker, am I right? And this one is the ultrasonic, pretty stock, I think. I just have the trigger grip on my stick, so I've just had to cut something things out here and I just gotta wear it like this. But yeah, I love the balance. Rebounds come off it hot. It's a good blocker. We can grab the stick next. I think this is the 2X Pro, even though it's uh, marked as a hyperlight. Um, yeah, like I said, I have the trigger grip here. Very different than what other guys might use, but I'm just, it just feels so comfortable for me holding it like this. And then I brought the thumb side down a little bit more the last couple of years since I had a, a broken thumb. I couldn't really have my thumb on the stick, so I had to bring it down so I can kind of hold it and the flow of my thumb and actually ended up liking it better. So that's what I'm rolling with. I kind of do a thick tape here thick tape up here and I do have a stick taping video I posted so make sure to go check that out I think I've taken like an inch or two uh, from here from easier stick handling and yeah it's a good stick got two apples on it last year time for the pads these are kind of a mix up between a 2x core uh, the traditional knee block um, that is flexible when I'm down in the butterfly or in the reverse it has that flex when I can lean over and do everything uh, very different from what those built-in knee blocks are these days. I have the professor strap over here and then uh, the calf is kind of like uh, I think ultrasonic with the little pillow here. Size is large. Um, yeah, I, I really like the pad. Um, no reason to kind of explore the new new models and stuff like that. Like the calf wrap, it was something that I saw and I liked it, so I wanted to add it to my pads, but I kind of like where it's at, so I'm not a guy who like just gets the brand new versions and model of gear, but I kind of have found something that I really like, so I'm gonna stick with it. And the toe ties here are skate lace with a little bit of slack. Uh, I can't get into the bungee cords, I've tried. Um, I kind of hit my reverse on the post. I like to hit it right here on the lace and when I push off, it's not going anywhere. So I feel like with those bungee cords, I would lose a lot of, uh, a lot of my power with the flexibility. So I'm all about the, the traditional skate lace on the toe ties. And the graphic I had for last season is pretty bland, but it does have the Bauer Digibrand uh, old Supreme graphics underneath it. Uh, so yeah, it's all printed. It looks 3D, but it's not. And then obviously we have these uh, big team sponsor logos here. That makes it harder for making a full pad design. I would love to add more color and I would have loved to do a colorful Supreme design, but figured I'll go all white, try to keep it as clean with the little uh, Supreme graphics underneath it. I think that's it for the pads. Uh, next up, I only have my little toiletry bag that I have in my uh, my bag with uh, some tape. I have some salts and sports drinks to keep me hydrated during games. Um, chewing gum, I like to chew some gum between periods to kind of keep me relaxed, keep my nerves down. And then I have some peppermint oil in here that I take a couple droplets off, put it on my neck before I go on the ice, kind of put it on my nose as well and that's kind of a uh, thing to keep me cool and helps me breathe better but also I feel like smelling that peppermint right before going in the ice kind of correlates my brain and tells itself that it's it's time to go and time to play. Last but not least we have the team jersey from last season. Uh, I love our colors even though they're Sweden colors and I'm from Finland but yeah they look sharp. Uh, yeah classic look and one cool part I really like is the Lexan's own band graphic here on the sleeves that we have and I'm going to incorporate this on my next set of pads and gear for next season. I have that video posted up so make sure to click that link it's somewhere up here maybe but yeah best jerseys in the league. But that's a wrap. Obviously whole new gear coming next season, uh, new designs, new masks, new paint, new everything coming up. Drop a comment below, would love to chat more about the gear, what you have about what I have, what I like. I wanted to keep it pretty short so it doesn't get too boring, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you soon.